He said, you get a team of people, give them a month or two or whatever they're allowed to look inside at the AI, do whatever they like with it. Their job is to find something that we believe people can typically do that's cognitive where the AI fails at it. Mm -hmm. And if they can find that, then it by definition would fail the AGI definition. But if they can't, after some given period of time, like everything they give it, every task they give it that a human could do, it's capable of doing, then in essence, you're there. And so he he basically said since 2009 has predicted 2028 is when we would get to this like minimal AGI as you referenced and he hasn't changed that he's like 50-50 um and and then he talked just about this idea of the AI he got into the like tangible example we give he said I think we'll see a sort of the next few years is AI systems going from being very useful tools to actually taking on more of a load in terms of doing really economically valuable work He said, I think it'll be quite uneven. It'll happen in certain domains faster than others. So for example, in software engineering, in a few years, the fraction of software being written by AI is going to go up. And so in a few years where prior you needed 100 software engineers, maybe you need 20 using Mm -hmm. advanced AI tools. Yeah. And now I think that that's actually already happening. I think that that is a realistic thing in 2026, probably. But that's the exact example we've talked about that over time, you just need fewer people doing the work. And that is going to happen across every knowledge work profession. This is not limited to coding and AI research. It's going to be every component. 